the thing that we really want you to feel all of your resources come from source not from your boyfriend not from your mother not from anybody else they all come from inside the vortex where all that you are and all that we are and everything that you want is so we're just doing the best sell job that we have ever done to get you to be excited about the vortex and less excited about your boyfriend excited about the vortex and therefore excited about the version of your boyfriend that you put in the vortex and maybe he'll be the one that shows up in manifestation and maybe it will be someone else but your boyfriend will show up and he will behave in the way you want him to when it doesn't matter if he doesn't when you're secure regardless of what he does you see when you're secure anyway as long as your security is dependent upon another you're insecure so the what you want to say is that's great I can see you I can see you doing that and it really thrills me to think about your life working for you in the way that it does nothing makes me happier than to know that you're thriving I really want that for you I want that for me too isn't it fun to know of all the wonderful future things that are coming for us and feel how differently he would hear that than the vibration that he's getting from you in other words he might be baiting you a little bit but we don't think so we think he's just genuinely excited about what's going on and not thinking so much about you and that's the way we want you to be too it's a healthier way to be it's a much healthier way to be and if you want someone if, 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 and, other, and so so that's what we were saying earlier you can't have it both ways you can't be dependent and independent at the same time our friend said I am afraid that if I focus myself into a perfect relationship my my husband will go away and we say if you focus yourself into a perfect relationship everything that you want will come to you and you just can't worry about what everybody else is doing because you only have control over your own vibration you see so the last piece around that is I've also heard you say you must do something when you're inspired not motivated but from inside the vortex your behavior is inspired and from outside the vortex your behavior is motivated so from inside the vortex the inspiration will come but but in order to really get that people challenge us with that frequently and we say you got to get in the vortex and and own it you got to get in the vortex and become familiar with it you've got to get in the vortex and know what being in the vortex feels like you got to get in the vortex and more consistently be in the vortex than not in the vortex and once you hang around in there significantly and chronically and the inspiration begins to flow you'll feel it and and the cooperation that you will see as a result of it will be really evident to you Esther will say from time to time I'm going to get in the vortex and it's it's usually her pronouncement that she knows she's not in there and and her statement of intention to be in there and then she takes such satisfaction in releasing resistance and moving in there and hanging around in there it's a triumphant feeling and from from that inside the vortex position you begin to feel independently invincible is her confidence and self-confidence and independence is it a threat to her relationship with Jerry no it's an enhancement of it he wants nothing more than her tuned in tapped in turned on it's the best gift that you can give to anyone in your life to be enlivened and uh, full of the energy that creates worlds you see but there are a lot of people that have practiced and in fact almost everyone a form of neediness for a time you just you just it's the thing that bothers you the most that you're not upset you're not upset that he has plans that may or may not include you that's not what's upsetting you what's upsetting you is you're not in your vortex and it doesn't feel good right something that he that's said right. something that he that's said right. and so think about it so he said something that amplified your misunderstanding that your good flows through him and since in that moment there was no indication that it was flowing you felt insecure if you had been chronically in your vortex 
it wouldn't have made you feel insecure. You'd have said, good for you. I want that for you. I can't wait for my millions to flow too. Sometimes we'll put our millions together and we'll go do something really fun together. But meanwhile, isn't it delicious to be independently thriving? Nothing is more incredibly wonderful than two clear-minded people coming together and having a clear-minded conversation. Much better than somebody being clear and somebody being confused and the confused one depending on the clear one for clarity. Nothing is more delicious than two really powerful, thriving people coming together in any co-creation. That's so much more exhilarating than one needing the other. So the, uh, Esther saw something on television the other day. It was a, the old relationship mantra that said, do opposites attract? And she sell, yelled, hell no. <laughs> That's old school. In other words, oh, we need balance. I'll be needy and you be a giver. I'll be a taker and you be a giver. And then we'll get along well. And Esther said, not. <laughs> That's vibrational discord. There's no harmony in that. In other words, nothing is more exhilarating than two aligned people coming together and co-creating. And nothing is more miserable than two not aligned people coming together and co-creating. And it's almost as bad if one is and one isn't, you see. Except if you're the one who is, you don't notice the one who isn't. That's key. So if I'm in my vortex and I'm feeling good no matter what the hell happens anywhere else in the world, those who aren't a match will fall away? They will fall away, but or... Or can they I will push them away? Or, but why? When you're in the vortex, you see. You're when you're in the vortex, you don't care. When you're in the vortex, you're not judging. When you're in the vortex, you're seeing them through the eyes of source. When you're in the vortex, you're extracting the value from the relationship. When you're in the vortex, you appreciate what they inspire within you. You see, it's only out of the vortex that you feel dependent. We can't like just get hooked into the vortex so we don't pop out. You can, but then you'll be dead like us, <laughs> which just means you'll have no resistant vibration. So it's easy to stay here, but you'll be right back because the fun is in the sifting and in the asking and in the aligning. You see, you make it sound like a struggle. And, and this last comment yes. that you made, the last comment that you made is, is sort of representative of what you're feeling and what we are amplifying back to you. And that is that I, I'm not in the vortex and I want to be is a very different vantage point than, than I am in the vortex and I can maintain it. In other words, we want you to, our effort as we are discussing here today is to assist you in realizing that this vortex is an easy thing to accomplish. You just have to practice it. And, and the thing that we really want you to hear is that once you get in there and then you maintain it as long as you can, in other words, get in there and get in there and read one of these books from inside the vortex, get in there and look through a deck of cards from inside the vortex so that you so that you practice the vibration of alignment from inside the vortex it will give you much greater stability inside the vortex so what as you as you do that then when you pop out it doesn't freak you out because you know how to get right back in in other words that trust that you're talking about is trust in yourself to focus really that's all that it is and as you stay in the vortex, are you like that car that goes 100 miles an hour and hits a tree when you pop out? You've used that example before. Maybe, maybe. But what you really are, you're like that car that's going 100 miles an hour in an environment that's going 100 miles an hour and you're having the time of your life. And if you if you pop out, your ability to get once you once you have got your that is an excellent question. Once you get your speed moving at that rate, your the, the popping out is much less frequent. But you're right. You really don't like it when you do pop out. No, a year but, ago, but I it's, popped out. But I it's, hit a tree, but a it's hard much, tree. Well, and that. That's an out of the vortex focus wheel that you're doing. In other words, we, we hear the struggle that you feel in all of this. We're just wanting you to, to trust us when we say, as you get in there and stay in there, it's easier to get in there and stay in there. And as you get in there and stay in there, it's easier to stay in there. And as you get in there and stay in there, it doesn't bother you so much when you're not in there. And when you get in there and stay in there, it doesn't bother you who else is in there or not in there. And when you get in there and stay in there, somebody else that's not in there doesn't even look like they're not in there because you're so in there. That's what true upliftment is. When you, in other words, you're, you're, you're taking back your own power.
You're, you, you, and, and from in there, so now let's say you're in the vortex and your boyfriend says that to you on the telephone. And you take a little hit from it and it kind of knocks you out of your vortex for just a moment. And then you say, oh, whoa, you won't believe what just happened to me. Here I am all cocky, believing that I'm tuned in, tapped in, turned on, believing that I've got the world by the tail, believing that I have all of the resources that are necessary for me to feel good. And that statement that you made just made me feel insecure. I'm not going to allow that to happen again because I do not want my happiness to be dependent on anything you say or anything you do. So I'll call you back in an hour after I'm back in the vortex. Then you hang up and you get back in the vortex. Then you call him again. Now you Can have I another... just not call him again? I'm serious. I'm dead serious. I mean, that's, that's almost, at, yeah, it's at that place. There's good and there's not so good. And I'm trying to well sort. you keep talking about him and we keep talking about uh, the vortex this. and it's two entirely different subjects and and but okay. you can't get him off your mind so you can't stay in the vortex okay so it might be good if you don't call him but the next one won't be any different unless you deal with him from inside the vortex you can't move on to something you want you say can't run away you got to find security. You've got to find your own stability and you have to show it to yourself. And, and uh, we, that's and it. We've been saying to a lot of people, we've been saying to a lot of people, you're looking for love in all the wrong places. And we'll say to you, you're looking for security in all the wrong places. You're looking for millions of dollars in all the wrong places. You're looking for your own boat in all the wrong places. In other words, and doesn't it just irritate the life out of you when you thought that was the avenue through which it will flow and it doesn't seem to be forthcoming. And we say, oh, when you discover that you don't need that avenue, that you've got this avenue and that it's only about you lining up with you, you come to trust yourself, come to trust your vibration, then others behave because the universe won't match you up with those that don't match who you are. You know, it's really irritating you. You're getting who you vibrationally deserve and you don't like it. <laughs> Because what you want, so to, I want to because, shift my dial. Because I want to change. I want a ninety-five point seven FM. Because what you, because what you want to be, a, and when you are a vibrational match to what's in your vortex, then the universe will bring you what matches you. Then, and you'll like it. So, what's coming is always your indicator of what you're doing vibrationally. And isn't it wonderful? Don't you just want to call him and say thanks, thanks for pointing out what I'm doing vibrationally? I didn't know until you were so rotten. <laughs> I thought I was tuned into the best until you became the worst. And now I realize I'm tuned into the worst. I got some work to do. Don't call me. But don't make it about him. Make it about you. Showing it to yourself, you'll naturally see it in the vortex. When, when you the get The security in, piece. When you get in there and feel it, every, all the indicators will, will confirm it. And when they, when they pop up, this is a really strange question, but I've always said, when I manifest and I'm there my life up until a year ago, the yellow, the, the highlighted path, path was like bright yellow. And then sometimes they're not bright yellow. Sometimes they're dimly yellow. But well, when you're in the vortex, is it always bright, always undeniable, always sure. You say, I don't care what you think. This is what I'm doing. You, you just know it. You're great. We agree. <laughs> you're you awesome. Are, you are as well. And when I talk to you, I mean, Abraham's, I mean, we have our own Abraham. So when I'm on the plane and I'm going in my meditation, I'm saying, Abraham, it's all the same. Yes. When you are in your vortex, you have access to the same infinite intelligence that we have and that we are. Yes. In other words, there, the separation, no one needs Esther in this format. And really, when you think about it, if you're out of the vortex and Esther is expressing in a way that you can hear it with your physical ears, what we know, you still don't hear it. In other words, you got to be in the vicinity for anything we say to make sense, even through your ears. And when you're in the vortex, you don't need Esther. Because we can hear it. Because you're, you're, so, you're where your solutions are. You're where your answers are. You're in, it, life is showing it to you. Words don't teach. The best we can do here with words is confirm what you already know. Or aggravate you when you're in a place of not knowing. <laughs> so I can get in that vortex... I, and once I'm there, and they're all and begging there. you to do it. They're just begging you to get in there. I know that. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next.